Hi everyone, welcome to An Academy Neat English. I'm your biology educator, Ambika Sharma. Students, as you guys can see, there is one more or new press release from NTA side and it is regarding the suspicious claims. So let me give you the context here. I hope you all remember that in NEET 2025, many issues were there. Students, they got the grace marks and the criteria for that grace marks, it was not clear. Then, in some centers, different question papers were distributed. In some centers, the some issue was there regarding the invigilators, right? Uh, in some centers, students, they claimed that, you know, paper was leaked. So many, many, many issues were there. CBI inquiry was there for the NEET examination, right? Results, they were released, but, uh, you know, there was a kind of stay, counselings, they started late. So many issues were there. So this time, NTA is considering everything seriously. This time, NTA is taking the measures so that they can avoid such things okay so what we can learn from such kind of efforts that this time NTA is learning from their mistake and they are avoiding they are avoiding any sort of any sort of problem this time right right uh, regarding any suspicious activity or you can say if I talk about the exam right this time we believe that uh, they are going to give us a good paper Right? And when I'm saying good paper, I'm not just saying difficult paper, but yeah, it will have good level as well. So now you can see this press release, this official press release. So they are talking about the reporting of suspicious claims regarding the NEET 2025 examination. So as per NTA, so they are saying that they have launched a dedicated platform where students can report or anybody can report suspicious claims regarding NEET UG 2025 examination. Okay, so they are saying that students NTA is advising students that they should not fall for any such thing for any mall practice, right? And if anybody is indulged in such mall practices, right, if they are trying to deceive the candidates with any false claims, you have to be aware regarding that, right? So let's suppose if there is any telegram group who's saying, hey, I'll provide you the question paper, I can help you to solve the paper, or we can go at your place and we can give you the full house, we will get, help you to get the full house in NEET examination, do not fall for such traps. Rather than what you people can do you can just report any suspicious activity under three categories on the portal right so unauthorized website or if there is any social media account which is claiming the need you UG 2025 paper access right then individuals claiming access to exam content then impersonators posing as NTA or government officials you can Right, out of these categories, you can report under these categories that what is the issue that you are facing. So reporting form is very simple, right? You have to describe what you have observed, where it is happening, when it is going to occur, right? And you have to upload any supporting file there as well, right? So this initiative aligns with public examinations, right? The Prevention of Unfair Means Act 2024, which basically trying, uh, which is trying to, you know, conduct the examination fairly. Now what we have to do, this is the official website here neat.nta.nic.in so here you people can see this candidate activity report here of suspicious claims in NEET UG 2025 so here you can see from 25th April to 4th May you can report everything you have to report here you have to click you have to add your name you have to add your email ID then you will receive a get an OTP and accordingly you have to fill the details right so it is a very good initiative that they have taken right even they are trying their best to avoid any kind of discrepancy in this particular examination this time so at this point of time you also so if you feel if you feel anything like that is happening in your vicinity if you figure out anything any such activity please report please report okay fine it is the government job it is the government duty to conduct the exam fairly but if we can help them to do this process right we should do it as a good citizen of our country okay so students if you figure out anything like that do report it right do and, and it is not going to be uh, uh, and it's not like that you will be in some trouble no not at all so please 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 help the government in this initiative right give your best and I'm not saying that you have to go out and you have to figure out such things no if anything anything like that if you get to know about it then report it otherwise just focus on your examination and when we talk about the examination this is this is the section that I will be taking today 11 a.m. this is the complete class 11th revision my dear students and here in this particular session it is not going to be a very long marathon no here the NCRT lines are there you have to fill that blanks and you have to revise your NCRT with me that's it so see you all today at 11 a.m. make sure you like it and here you have this test your benchmark test.
that is also to, uh, today at 2 p.m. Okay, and this exam is students just the replica of your NEET examination. You will get your all India rank, right? You will get this paper just like the NEET pattern. So without any delay and free of cost, you guys can give it without any delay. Be the part here, right? Enter your number, register yourself here, and do not forget to give this particular test. So take care. See you all. If there is anything like that, please report it. Please help the government as well. Take care. Thank you so much.